Now that you have all of your value scales completed, you are ready to put your knowledge to practice. Your goal is to make your circle look more like a three-dimensional sphere by adding five different values that range from light to dark. The light area on the sphere faces the light source and the darkest area would then be in the shadow. My completed examples are at the front of the room to use as a reference. You have chosen to use graphite on your final drawing, therefore you will practice using this material. As you have been watching, I have been starting to add light value. I prefer to work light to dark because it is very easy to make a value darker, but it can be challenging to make a value lighter. As I add value, I am thinking about neatness, making sure I'm trying to stay inside the lines and filling the space in as much as possible. As I move from one value to another, I am just trying to press a little bit harder with my pencil, maybe even changing to a pencil um, like a 4B or even a 6B after I have my lighter values done with my HB or even my 2B so that I can make those darker values easier you know, and kind of quicker. So again, I kind of start with the HB working my way up to the darker pencils as I'm working. Once you feel like you can count five different values within your sphere, you would then be ready to work on blending. Now blending could be done with your finger, but we are going to be using what is called a blending stump. Now a blending stump is just paper, you know, it's rolled up, but it is kind of like a pencil in the fact that it is at a point. Now you are going to hold the stump about as horizontal as you can so that you are using the side of the point instead of the tip of the point. If you use the tip, you're actually going to push the point in and then you won't have a lot of working surface to work with. Now as you go over this, what this is doing is kind of taking the graphite and pushing it into your white areas so that your blending um, makes the sphere look a little bit more smooth. It kind of helps get rid of some of those little white spaces. In order to be considered done with this activity you have to have the entire shape shaded and then blended as well.